Well, hello, hello, everybody. It's Dr. Carmen Bryant, and this is Car Chronicles. I miss you guys. How you guys been doing? You doing all right? I'm back. Last two weeks, life happened. And just like my uh, spiritual father, the late, great Bishop George Sadler used to say or said, um, he said, in the midst of living, life happens. And uh, I always emphasize to you guys to take care of yourself because... You have to remember, for those of us that have been in a narcissist relationship, most of you guys are running off of adrenaline. You're in the fight or flight, uh, fight, flight, or freeze mode. Most of you guys are in a fight or flight. Most of you guys are fighting. And so your body is surviving in the midst of this narcissist abuse. You don't even know how much your adrenaline is pumping to survive. You know, uh, it's just like a, a uh, what is it, like a, a race car or a or, or high uh, uh, what did they call it? not high volume, but it's like a, a race car, a, a, a car that's a, a, you know, high, high, whatever, high energy, whatever the car is. I, I can't recall what it's called, but you know, is, 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 is moving, is going, is going, is going. And then finally you stop the car. You don't realize that all that heat and that movement is keeping that car together. It's, it's, it's almost like the heat is keeping the tape together. It's keeping this together. It's keeping this from leaking until finally you stop that car and that car starts to idle down and you hear it popping and all of a sudden you you see things leaking, you see things smoking, but that's just like most of you guys who have been in a narcissist relationship. You know, you have been running off of adrenaline. You have been living in survival mode and you don't even realize how much trauma your body, your mind, your soul, your health, your mental health has been in because that adrenaline has been keeping you in survival mode. That adrenaline keeps you fighting, fighting, fighting. You guys have been fighting for your mind, fighting for your children, just trying to survive. So you're not even living life anymore you are surviving and in the midst of survival you really don't know how much your body and your mind is breaking down it's not until after you leave out of the situation ship where all of a sudden you begin to realize your body is falling apart you don't even realize, you know, some of you guys have said fibromyalgia, neurological issues, mental health problems, kidney problems, high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, you know, uterine issues, fibroids, you know, uh, what I say, fibromyalgia, you know, all of a sudden all these things start happening, uh, you know, in your body, heart conditions, heart problems, you don't, trauma travels through your body. Trauma stays in your body and it also is in your neurological system, you know, and especially if you're running off a high, high octane, you know, that's a, that's that high, that high pressure, whatever that car is called, high performance car. That's what it's called. A high performance car is running off that high octane. You're running off a high octane, you know, and adrenaline and you are surviving. So your body starts to settle down back to its base, back to its norm, but you don't know how much damage being in a relationship or a situationship with a narcissist has caused you. And you're wondering, you know, surgery after surgery, eye surgery, you know, bowel surgery, stomach surgery, you know, for a lot of women, you know, uterine issues, you know, hysterectomies, kidney problems, pancreas issues, lung problems, breathing issue, heart problems. You know, you wondering, you know, why am I falling apart? You know, all these years I have been fine. Why? And you're young. Some of you guys are young. Some of you guys are older. And all of a sudden your body is falling apart because your body is, is coming back down. All that, you know, and some of you guys come down after years of being out of the situation ship and all of a sudden your body is settling down and it's starting to click and clack and leak and, you know, like a car, high performance car. And all of a sudden you start noticing the tires are flat. You know, your tires are flat. You know, you're wondering what is going on? What is happening to me? I'm not even in the situation anymore. No, your body is now finally showing you what you have been dealing with in survival mode. Your body has been breaking down and you never had the opportunity to take care of yourself because you were busy, you know, in survival mode, surviving and taking care of your kids, surviving. So a lot of you are going through these issues. A lot of you have these mental health issues now. Now, all of a sudden, you've got major depression. You're having panic attacks. And I tell people all the time, you know, the one thing that a narcissist is, the many things that a narcissist doesn't like. A narcissist doesn't like peace and quiet because peace and quiet torments them. So you notice that in your situationship, 
whenever you had a moment of peace and quiet, they always came in and caused havoc. They always came came in and caused noise or chaos or they did something because that your peace and quiet torments them. And so they always came in and made something happen. You know, you always on eggshells. And so a lot of you, when you finally get into your peace and quiet, what happens is you start having panic attacks. So some of you are like, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just sitting in my house. I'm just watching television. All of a sudden I start having these panic attacks because your mind remembers, your brain remembers in your subconscious. It remembers that during peace and quiet, something is going to happen. And so even though you may not realize it, but in the peace and quiet, you are anticipating something is about to happen. And so you're having panic attacks. You're having all sorts of anxiety issues. And you're thinking to yourself, there's nobody in the house but me. I cannot be in peace and quiet. I cannot be alone. I can't be by myself. I have to have some kind of noise. I got to have something going on. I got to bring the kids over, the grandkids over. I got to do something because of the fact that all you ever remember is the chaos. And in the peace and quiet, your peace and quiet was broken by the chaos of the narcissist. So now that you're finally in your peace and quiet, you're triggered because you know that in the peace and quiet, you know that something was going to happen. And so you are now anticipating it because your brain has been trained to think think that way. It's been trained that way. And so you're having panic attacks, but the panic attacks, the thing about it is now you have to overthink the panic attacks because there's nothing going to happen. You are finally free. But yet I'm telling you guys coming out of these situation, go take care of yourself. Go to the doctor, ladies, gentlemen, go get your annual checkups, go get your prostate exam. Ladies, get your pap smears. Ladies, go have your well woman check. Men, I don't know what it's called, the well men check. Go get yourself checked. You know, make sure, get your blood work done. Make sure your vitamin D levels are on point because low vitamin D, low testosterone, thyroid issues, they all manifest themselves or present themselves as major depression a lot of time. So major depression, that can be a that could be a thyroid issue. That can be a low vitamin D, low vitamin B12 issue. You know, a thyroid issue. Sometimes severe depression may manifest itself. Well, uh, a thyroid issue may manifest itself in um, um, severe depression. And some of you guys are taking medication. Don't stop your medication. I'm not giving you any advice about medication. Go talk to your medical provider. This is only for educational purposes, but a lot of times people are being over medicated and there's actually an organic issue. Thyroid problems, low testosterone for men, which can present itself in severe depression, but they have testosterone treatment that is available. Ladies, hormone issues. You know, a lot of you guys have gone through hormone problems. You know, uh, a lot of things are going on inside of your uh, gastrointestinal system. But go get your blood work done. Get a full blood work done and have them check all your levels. Vitamin D, B12, thyroid, all that. Have all that checked. Take the advice of your doctor. You know, whatever they're telling you to do, make sure you go get a massage. Go do self-care is so important. Get a massage. Get your feet rubbed. Go sit in a coffee shop. And some of you guys, I don't have time for that. You don't have time not to do that. Remember on an aircraft. What do they tell you on an airplane? Listen, and for a lot of you guys who are trying to get out of these situations, Stop listening to the people when they tell you, just get out, just run. Let me give you a disclaimer. First of all, if you are in a situation and you have children, you can't just jump up and leave. Because if you jump up and leave with your children and get out of there, the one thing they'll use in court is saying that you kidnapped the children. Or they'll call and get an Amber Alert and say that you kidnapped the children. Don't listen to these people when they're telling you to get out of there and you got kids. What you need to do is look online and get the domestic violence hotline. And I'll make sure it's on here by the time you see this is on there. They get the domestic violence, the domestic violence, national domestic violence hotline. Get in touch with an advocate. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. See, that's called learned helplessness where you have tried and tried and tried and nothing has happened. Listen, try it again. Get an advocate involved, get domestic violence advocate involved so they can help you because they will also have a paper trail. So that if you go to court, they can't say that you kidnapped the children. There's a paper trail that got you out of there. There is help to get you out of there. But don't listen to the people when they say, get out of here and you got children. Because if you got children, they will use that against you. Kidnap, and then your kids can be taken from you. Get an advocate involved so they can do a paper trail and they also have legal paperwork to take to court to get a protective order to try to get in. Listen, there are times where people have had to leave and had to go in the witness. It's not a witness protection, but they protect you and get you out of the state that you're in. They will relocate you if it's bad enough. And so you have to reach out and ask someone for help. Don't try to do it by yourself. 
you know, but I'm telling you, self-care is so important. You got to, got to take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself. You know, just like I said, you know, I'm one of many people that had health issues afterward. Please take care of yourself afterward. Do it. Do it.